so glad you're here. I'm Miss Debbie, and I am so glad that you've joined me because today we are going to be talking about a Bible verse that starts with the letter Q. <gasps> what Bible verse starts with the letter Q? It's found in 1 Thessalonians 5, 19, and it says, quench not the spirit. Right here, you know, all of our fun kids' time activities that we're doing are from the Bible. What does it mean to quench? Let me give you an example. Have you ever been so thirsty? And you have you ever heard somebody say, I need something to drink to quench my thirst? That means to put out my thirst. Or let me ask you this. Have you ever been to a campfire and a fire was going and you roasted marshmallows, but then after a while it was time to put out the fire and maybe somebody got some dirt and put dirt on the fire and that quenched the fire, that put out the fire. Well, the Bible tells us not to put out, not to quench the Holy Spirit because God loves us so much. And when we become a Christian, God gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. And in our kids' time activity that we're going to do today, we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is like a light that God puts in our heart, that warms us, that directs us, that helps us see things from His perspective. So it's important that we keep the Holy Spirit his light very much alive in our hearts. We do not want to, it would be like if we had all of God's Holy Spirit in us and then we just sinned and we did things that we knew weren't right. And then even though we still have, as a Christian, the Holy Spirit in us, we don't want to sin and sin and sin so that we don't have the light our Jesus and the Holy Spirit shining in us. No, we want to say, God, I'm sorry. And when we say that we're sorry of our sins that we commit, then the light of God's Holy Spirit can be seen more in our lives. So today, for your fun kids' time activity, you're going to be able to make a campfire using some construction paper. You can get some brown and some yellow if you have brown and yellow. And you can use your scissors and your construction paper to cut out some firewood. And that way you can talk about how the Holy Spirit is like a fire, like a light in our hearts, bringing us warmth and bringing us light. And you can put your firewood there and you can then put your yellow. Let me take this real quick. And, or if you prefer, you could use um, some popsicle sticks. Some people have used popsicle sticks. I was going to show you this one, but our popsicle sticks got kind of turned around the wrong way on this one, but you can use that and then you can use your yellow to make some firewood, I mean to make the light, to make the flames, and you can have all kinds of different flames, and maybe your mom or older brother or sister could help you cut those flames, and you can cut those flames like that and show that you have a campfire and that campfire is going to remind you, when you look at the light of that campfire, it will remind you of the light of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And we want to keep that light shining in our lives and not have sin stay in our lives. Oh, we don't want to do that, do we? No, no. So we want to do and obey God's Word, and we want to obey our parents and the Lord, as we talked about a few times ago, so that we do not quench the Spirit. 
we keep the light of God's Holy Spirit showing in our lives. Always remember, your Heavenly Father loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Bye. Till next time.